Chinese co-pilot almost sucked out mid-flight. A Chinese passenger jet was forced to make an unexpected pit stop after it had some minor window issues. Sichuan Airlines Flight 3U8633 was flying from Chongqing to Lhasa, carrying 119 passengers. Captain Liu Zhuangjian told the Chengdu Economic Daily the aircraft was cruising mid-flight when the windshield suddenly cracked and made a loud bang. The co-pilot was sucked halfway out the cockpit window, but he was wearing his seatbelt. He was dragged back into the cockpit. The plane was then forced to make an emergency landing. None of the passengers were harmed. The co-pilot suffered scratches and a sprained wrist. An investigation has begun into the incident. Don't fly out the window just yet. Woman is almost sucked out of a plane window after engine explosion. A mid-flight engine explosion at 32,000 feet on Tuesday led to chaos over the skies of Philadelphia. According to the New York Times, Southwest Airlines Flight 1380 was en route to Dallas from New York when one of its two engines exploded mid-flight. The Boeing 737 aircraft was reportedly carrying 143 passengers and five crew at the time. It later emergency landed in Philadelphia. Shrapnel from the explosion shattered a plane window. The Chicago Tribune reports the sudden decompression in the cabin caused passenger Jennifer Reardon to be partially pulled through the window. Here's the window Reardon almost went through and the wrecked engine after the plane landed. A passenger later told the New York Times Reardon was also hit by some shrapnel from the damaged plane engine. He explained passengers and crew dragged her back in, but she was unconscious when they did. Reardon later died despite attempts to revive her. According to the Dallas News, Reardon was 43 years old and vice president of community relations at Wells Fargo. The Albuquerque woman was returning from a New York business trip. Meanwhile, fearing he'd never see his loved ones again, passenger Marty Martinez partially live-streamed events from inside the aircraft to Facebook. He also posted several videos and images from inside the plane. Southwest Airlines Chief Executive Gary Kelly sent the airline's condolences to Reardon's family and praised the actions of crew and responders in Philadelphia. And on behalf of the entire Southwest family, I want to extend my deepest sympathies for the family and the loved ones of our deceased customer. According to NBC Philadelphia, the National Transportation and Safety Board are investigating the incident as engine failure. That engine, reportedly a CFM-56 turbofan, is a common component in many modern aircraft. Airbus plane engine falls apart over the Atlantic. An Air France flight en route from Paris to Los Angeles was forced to make a slight detour when one of its engines disintegrated over the Atlantic on Saturday. The Airbus A380 was just east of Greenland carrying 496 passengers and 24 crew members when one of its engines experienced a serious failure. According to passengers, there was a loud boom and then a lot of shaking. Luckily, the fast-acting pilots quickly shut the engine down and were able to stabilize the plane in under 30 seconds. The plane flew for about an hour on three engines before arriving at Goose Bay Airport in eastern Canada. Two 777s were eventually sent from Montreal to pick up the passengers and take them the rest of the way to L.A. The cause of the engine failure is still unknown and currently being investigated. The only way to fly. If you feel like showing everyone how annoyingly rich you are, Emirates has new Mercedes-Benz S-Class inspired first class private suites for its Boeing 777 aircraft. The new suites will offer up to 40 square feet of space per passenger and to ceiling sliding doors <laughs> and because they really need it passengers will get a 32 inch hd tv gourmet dining mood lighting and temperature control the leather seats can recline all the way be placed in a zero gravity position or adjusted into plenty of other custom positions for optimal comfort most suites with a window view will be provided with binoculars while suites in the middle of the cabin have virtual windows which project the view from the outside in real time. Emirates will also offer passengers a complimentary Benz chauffeur to their destination from the airport. The newly designed cabins are set to be introduced in the Emirates fleet in December. Bird and cockpit forces Delta flight to turn around. A Hotlanta-bound Delta flight was forced to hang a Yui after the crew found a bird flying around the cockpit. Before the flight, the pilot happened to see a sparrow board the plane, causing the flight to be delayed as crew and maintenance workers searched for the little feathered fellow. 
After a delay and an unsuccessful search attempt, the pilot decided to take off. Wouldn't you know it, shortly after the aircraft took off, the Sparrow reappeared again in the cockpit, so the pilot decided to turn the plane back around. After getting back to Detroit Metro Airport, crews were finally able to grab the little guy and get him off the plane. In the end, after a considerable delay, the flight eventually made its way down to Atlanta. No word on what airline the Sparrow ended up taking. Air India flight hits rough turbulence. Passengers from an Air India flight last week were treated to some first-class turbulence thanks to Mother Nature. An Air India flight from Amritsar to New Delhi last week experienced turbulence that left three passengers injured and caused a window panel to come loose. According to the Hindu, Air India Flight 462 was carrying over 240 passengers on April 19th for the 35-minute flight. Airline officials said the plane took off at 2.50 p.m. and hit rough turbulence soon after at around 15,000 feet due to bad weather. The turbulence lasted for around 10 to 12 minutes. Three passengers sustained minor injuries. A window panel inside the aircraft also came loose during the turbulence. The injured passengers were treated at the Delhi airport and were still able to make it onto their connecting flights. India's aviation regulator, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation, and the Aircraft Accident Investigation Board are now investigating the incident. Southwest Airlines flight grounded for flaming wing. A Southwest flight from D-Town to St. Louis was grounded after a passenger happened to notice the wing was on fire right before takeoff. David Fedor was enjoying the back of the plane on flight 1863 last Thursday when his spider sense started tingling. He heard a loud thud, kind of like landing gear engaging, but when he looked out the window, he saw flames coming from the bottom of the wing. According to Fedor, the flight had about 80 people, but he had the rear mostly to himself. Apparently, no one else noticed the fire, so he got up from his seat and calmly alerted a flight attendant. At first, the flight attendant told him to sit down, but then she came back and saw the flames for herself. She alerted the pilots and they turned the plane back. The passengers got off and then either booked another flight or were given a refund. Southwest did acknowledge there was a fire and, in a statement, said, While there were no indications of anything abnormal, our mechanics are repairing the aircraft and the plane currently remains in maintenance. Really? No indications of anything abnormal?